Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall makeup tutorial. I know it's a little bit early for fall, you know, it's still like super hot outside, but like it's September so it's basically fall in my book, okay? So we're going to be doing a fall makeup look and the makeup look I'm going to be doing today is inspired by Patrick Ta, a makeup artist on Instagram, a celebrity makeup artist to be exact. And he did this look right here on my girl golden barbie and this look is so sickening and i'm like i need to do it like right now so that's what we're gonna be doing today i'm just gonna take my maybelline fit me concealer and i'm gonna be priming my eyelids this with this today i'm just gonna use a little bit of that I don't usually do cool tone looks like as you guys can tell so like this is kind of stepping out of my comfort zone and I really wanted to do that because I don't want to be that youtuber that does the same looks all the time with like the same colors and stuff I want to do things that like other people would want to wear so I'm gonna be taking this pinky rose cosmetics palette and this is the center stage palette and I'm gonna be taking Hmm, he doesn't look like he has any brown in the crease. I feel like there's maybe like two colors he used, so. I'm gonna take this shade called Coco, which is this like taupey brown color. For third of my eye. And I'm kind of just like blowing it out so it can be nice and blown out and smoky looking. And I'm kind of just like gonna put it on the lid a little bit. Just a little sprinkle of it on the lid. Now I'm going to take this um, foiled pigment from Makeup Geek and it's in the shade Tin Man. And it's a very like silvery blue gray type of shade. And I'm just going to be taking a teeny bit of that on my finger and using my finger to apply it onto my lid. Now I'm just going to take that blending brush with no extra product and just blend in my crease a bit just so it's not super shimmery in the crease. I'm going to take my handy dandy Urban Decay Space Cowboy eyeshadow, literally my favorite. And I'm just gonna take my finger again and just use this as like a topper glitter situation because it's looking a little glittery, just a little. And I'm just gonna press that in. I really just leveled it up even more. Ooh, that looks so sickening and so cute. Blending brush once again. And I'm going to go in the crease a bit more just to blend out any harshness. Because this is a very, very soft, gorgeous look. A bit more concealer on the lower lash line just so I can um, add some shadow there. To pat it in. Take that same taupey shade that we had before. Just using some black eyeshadow just to smoke out my lash line a bit so it can blend in with the lashes. I think I want to go with these House of Lashes lashes in the shade Featherette. The shade. In the style Featherette. And they're like really pretty. Cool. And they just look perfect for this eye look because they're not too extravagant, but they're also like super cute and flirty. Okay, now that the eyes are done, it's time to move on to the face. So for skin, we're going to be starting off with this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Here in my mouth okay absolutely love this primer because it's super super hydrating and it gives your skin a nice glow um, I don't like to use too much of it because I, it's kind of 
bright low pump fit oh that was a little brush action coming through honey i just like to use a brush to apply this to the skin and i mostly put it on the spots where i know the highlight is going to hit you feel me and like as soon as i put this on my skin it literally feels so cooling it's like iconic truly also i love using this on my clients and my clients with um more dry skin because it really really helps moisturize and hydrate the skin it does give you a glow honey it would definitely look better and like more natural if you are lighter in skin tone honey but honestly I'm just using this because I love the way it makes my skin feel for foundation today of course I'm gonna be using my Maybelline what this is not Maybelline I'm gonna be using my NYX can't stop won't stop foundation in the shade mocha you all already know how I feel about it but if you haven't watched my review yet I'll leave link right here or down below for you guys to check it out because this foundation is my new fave so I'm gonna do about two generous pumps of this foundation and I'm gonna use my Sigma flat kabuki f80 brush to blend out my foundation today Concealer today, I'm going to be using a very hydrating concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. Um, it's my fave. And I'm going to be cream contouring today with my Graftobian Contour Palette. And I'm just using this second to dark shade. It's very, very dark, so be wary of that. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Dual Fiber Contour Brush to apply this to the skin today. We love skin I wish I can sometimes I just wish I can just leave my concealer like this and not have to set it but like it's just not realistic okay it's not realistic I'm gonna take my Maybelline fit me powder and I'm going to set my face Okay, so I'm just going to be doing a bit of bronzing and contouring. I'm not going to be doing anything too, 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 too bronzy because in the photo, she just mostly, mostly I see a lot of forehead bronzer, but not a lot of cheek bronzer, just um, blush and highlighter. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But I do have to contour just a bit. And just to set the cream that we have, I'm going to use this pure sculpting palette and I'm going to take this shade in the shade what this contour in the shade founder cool for the forehead I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place the Zulu palette and I'm gonna take this brown shade right here with a Morphe M527 brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the forehead just to bronze it a bit 
put it on my cheeks just a little bit too, just the excess of it. Cute, 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 cute. For blush today, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Very Adore. And I'm just going to be mixing in with all these colors. Use that same Morphe M527 brush to do so. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. This is the Sonia Kashuk highlighter in the shade Glow. And it's actually a blush and a highlighter, but I don't think they sell this anymore. I think they just sell the highlighter by itself. And that's the only shade I use anyways. And I've had this actually since 2014. Ooh, eek. I know it's probably expired already, but I'm still going to use it. And I love using my Sigma Spotlight Duster Brush to apply this to my face because it's legit so perfect for highlighting that's that's literally iconic truly putting some on the temples as well just to like i don't know slimy okay so i've already lined my lips with this urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil actually and it's in the shade alkaline um this works so perfectly for lip lining so just a little tip um you can definitely do nude lip if you're not comfortable with any like color or darkness on your lips but i just wanted to do a dark lip just to make it more of a pop look you know because it's super just like simple on the eyes and i want the lips to just like pop also i darkened up my brows because i felt like they were a little bit too light and like they were fusing in with the eyeshadow if that makes sense so <laughs> i had to change it up okay i'm gonna be wearing this nyx liquid suede lipstick in the shade club hopper it's like not burgundy it's like a plumish burgundy if that makes sense like it's like a mauvey burgundy mix it in with a few different lipsticks so i can get the perfect shade i'm gonna be mixing it in with this color pop slut times i love Zara E lipstick in the shade arriba and i'm gonna be mixing a nyx liquid suede again with in the shade oh put me on and i'm just gonna mix this is perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply it to my lips now. Okay guys, so this is it for today's finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be leaving all the products that I used in this video in the description box down below for you guys to check out, along with some coupon codes for you guys to save some coins. So yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all the makeup by Shana, and I'll see you guys in the next video.